I'm sorry, but you can't find so you don't please. From the previous segment, I was reviewing my state of comprehension in Turkish, how I read it and how it's not possible to classify it as a solid state because it's in a perpetual flux, it's continuously shape-shifting. I rate it between 48% to 62% on average. It becomes a give or take depending on the environment, but more specifically the actual speaker involved in the picture this is where I am not okay with the classification of the language the way it sits according to how I was raised they have these different names for different tongues from different places such as Indian Malaysian Chinese we have all these different classifications of languages like that so although we've got another language they identified as being Turkish just because my parents have physical birth certificates indicating they were born in that part of geography I don't cabal with it Turkish spoken by my parents does not register as a language that comes from the nation currently identifying itself as Turkey. I experience discordance actually because when I view television coming from that area I'm hearing so many foreign words that were just not a part of my landscape when I was growing up. You're calling that Turkish, Turkey style. Well if that's the case it's not the same language as what my parents spoke. But is it to say it's not Turkish at all? Well, that's not accurate. The problem is how people have defined what Turkish is and what it isn't. I get fairly upset by repeatedly seeing the Oh, it's got all these loan words, these loan words, these loan words where they're trying to infer Oh no, it's Arabic Oh no, it's Persian Blah 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 What pisses me off about that? I'm sorry, what you classify as being Arabic I perceive as Hmm, this is something that Turkish mixed with I could easily say I'm sorry but uh, in your Arabic I'm hearing a tonnage of Turkish in it just about every single fucking sentence I can pick at least one word that I register as Turkish so who or what is to say it was not oh I'm sorry my lot and your lot mix the bear fuck the bear and I made babies and that's not just Arabic that's happened with plenty of the other surrounding areas where they are claiming alright this language is so and so is so and so is so and so where uh, who classified it as such who defined it as such because whoever did that was creating forms of division that separated people and divided people's ability to understand each other from my observation I feel as though the type of Turkish my grandmother was speaking was one that formed through considerable migration and when I say migration I do mean a form of nomadic one which entailed a shitload of travel and constant movement so it never really truly remained stationary in one spot at the grandparents level and the great grandparent level they were polyglot they were capable of speaking a number of tongues Mom side I think it was my grandfather actually uh, able to speak Bulgarian, able to speak Russian, able to speak Georgian, able to speak Laz, able to speak what was the other one? I forget but well, clearly it is quite a number of different tongues and the ability to do that did not come from the result of sitting down to read a book which says how to learn this language in 10 days and then you read the book and then you pick up the lingo blah 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 wasn't like that the acquisition of language was through oh okay i just got a job in georgia 
as a bank manager or a Supreme Court judge with capacity to deliver the death sentence here. Oh, gee, you know, you, you, you wouldn't want to be making some kind of a fucking mistake with your linga there, would ya? I sentence you to death because... Better make sure you, you know, speak the fucking language of the land or something, right? So, I believe the lingo states would have been more flexible, less rigid, and more intelligible, more capacity to plug in and plug out. Or uh, perhaps the articulation of various specificities wasn't that critical, but how can it not be when you have grandparents working in areas of... Uh, wouldn't call it governance, but capacity to determine the course of a human life. So how have I digressed? A little focus on this pomegranate here. The shape of what Turkish looks like for me. It's like this pomegranate and nothing like a simple piece of mandarin which comes in these regular shapes, easy shapes. Peel a mandarin is kind of easy. You don't even need a knife. The skin comes off pretty easy. But this pomegranate, oh my god, it takes a bloody eternity to try and crack it. <laughs> I did pluck every little bit of ruby. It takes a short eternity. Lots of pain and not at ease with the speaking space at the moment. There was a need to recap with the comprehension. Is this much? This much? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous try to quantify again in a decimal kind of format let's say that's just a solid 100 or 10 comprehension the scale of it is like this where i can't do it 100 percent is the the highest level let's say is towards 85 percent lowest level is towards 12 percent my level of comprehension is between that much where's the middle ground that is the middle ground that is my middle ground comprehension is between 12 to 85 percent where's the fucking middle there there is none because if this middle was like a spinning top this needle will be up here depending on this depending on that it jumps here depending on this it jumps there depending on the dynamics of the environment of the scenario the situation i'm dealing with that's how fucking wide that's how much it fluctuates and this was me trying to explain yeah right you've got these different classifications let's just call this indian japanese korean uh let's go for indonesian i'll just stick with these one for now persian's another one yeah persian yes persian i've done a video trying to explain how i'm hearing like 12 different streams of persian 12 different flavors i know arabic is the same arabic feels more like seven to nine at the moment but i'm conscious of how yeah different regions are gonna sound they're not the same they don't sound the same uh with arabic the closer ones to me they sound more immediate up front egyptian and syrian there's another moroccan kind of uh it's the one underneath that portugal spain sort of region so yeah i'm conscious how there's different flavors of arabic some are close others are much further out uh, lebanese is they're obviously south yeah it's it's more challenging to calibrate into the lebanese for my ears but it's still possible to do that it just requires a shit tonnage of listening muscle to get the exposure time i need a roughly 10 to 15 minutes and i'm gonna be able to catch a word or two uh, it happened at bob jane tema <laughs> where they were speaking arabic english which was which made it very difficult to calibrate because they were switching between the two languages and i actually needed to just sit sit with the lebanese for a steady pace and but they were jumping back and forth back and forth but despite that i was still able to go gotcha 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 and not just uh, any random word this was a these were full-on full words where the meaning is same same the need for this i'm, I'm struggling to try and express we have people trying to classify languages with these names 
and uh, for me the capacity to tune in to the lingo is not based on this classification it's based on a specifically individual level it's based on the actual speaker where someone speaking Japanese let's say if they're coming from the south I'm probably not gonna be able to bridge but if they're from the north there is a certain type of Japanese that exists where my tuning pinpoints with that lingo is so spot on, dead on accurate I'm gonna experience a form of deja vu fuck yeah I know this soundscape I can fucking hear it it sounds so damn Turkish it's unmistakably Turkish but I can't bridge meaning but I can hear it and this can't be done on a even on a regional type of level I'm conscious of how this phenomena happens with very specific individual speakers who trigger it example of the the abo scape when it happened in abo father is the singer he's a polyglot speaks about five lingos bahasa is one of them and i identify that as a critical center point from for um being able to it's like a center point tower transmitter it's, it's like one of those tower thingy me jiggies transmission tower things I don't know if it's a station but um, if I'm able to get within the range of that tower I can receive the signal there's something like that that's what the Bahasa is registering like a center point transmitter tower thing for this father right this father has a son singing the exact same song exact same lyrics allegedly but the sounds coming out of the son's mouth completely different same song same lyrics but the sounds that the son, son is uh, producing nothing like the dad it's a completely different language and this is what i'm trying to communicate with the you classify that language as a hmm what is it when the father can speak five but to the son same song same lyrics same melody but the intonation the the tones the timber and eh, no, not the same fucking thing i can't hear i can't hear anything here through son i can't hear it so there's gonna be some lingos who understand what i mean by this inherently you already know who the fuck i am just because I can hear it like that if I can hear it like that that means you know what that's about and I don't have to explain myself that's where this next chapter I was trying to even though I wanted to say start the stories of acquisition of language from the story of mum versus from the story of dad yes they were politicians now this is this has turned into my mom <laughs> and that is dad <laughs> they're two separate chapters but this was trying to explain this variability within turkish father son i can understand the father i can't understand the son same thing happens in turkish exact same thing some speakers are gonna be incoherent even though they're using turkish words they're gonna be incoherent and i'm not gonna be able to string any sense of what are you talking about i can't but then there's gonna be other types of speakers who will trigger fuck your turkish is so damn direct you you're just like my mom and dad able to identify that and this is what i grew up with a cult that was assessing evaluating in these shades of you're either a zero or a ten and somewhere in between that you're like just you're just one of these nodules it wasn't able to think in terms of nah it's actually this wide anyhow that's me trying to move on with the next uh segment of this recalk thing how it exists in my mappage that lives in my head what was that what <laughs> all right whatever